<laughs> well, I know it ain't Christmas, right? But it might as well be for me. So in my last video, I showed you my bench was empty. And then I got a little bit of stuff that filled it up. Well, unfortunately, that little bit of stuff multiplied. Yeah, multiplied. I'll, I'll talk about that sack in a second. But if you recall, I, I got this like coaxial cable, which uh, when you strip it, have I got a piece around here somewhere? There you go. And when you strip it, you end up with this corrugated coax. And when you strip that apart, you end up with very tiny, thin, you know, corrugated copper. Tried various methods. I ended up trying, I ended up like putting it in my V block. I turned my V block upside down. Uh, going along it with an axe. That seemed to work. I did have a couple of people say, aye, what you're doing is right with a knife down, bring it apart. One guy said, uh, nick it one side, nick it the other side, stick it in a vise, and it'll rip, rip apart down the seam. I didn't have much luck doing that, but then again, I've only got a, a, a carpenter's vise. I do have another ice, duh, but I'd have to move everything just to get at it. All right. So I basically got down to the fact that we was probably going to weigh it in. Strip, strip the plastic off and weigh it in. With a bit of luck, I might get pyro uh, price rather than... Uh, I think what CU Scrapper high, high Flex or something. He, look at the comments. CU Scrapper or CC Scraps put a comment in saying what they call that. For the amount I had, you, you'll have to look back. It, it's. It was only that amount. Only that amount. It was probably heard they were stripping. But. There's always a but in there. But today, I got all that. And as you can see, that is much bigger than that. And it's, uh, to be honest, it's, it's a good handful, you know. And when you strip that, you get that. And you can see, Size does matter. So, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> All this coffee still. <laughs> so, anyway, never mind the length. Just, 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 just look at the girth of it, the width of it. So, that might be worth doing. Right. But we'll find out because I've had an idea. You see. So anyway, let's let's, uh, let's put that stuff over there. Yee! For the dream. Right. No, I haven't. Let 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 let's let's talk about this. I haven't been looking for this stuff. It it came to me. Yeah, no, no, it, 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 you know, I've not been out looking for it. It came to me. Now, admittedly, it's, it's been cold outside, so I, I had to make sure that, because uh, I've got no air, I've no air, so I've had to make sure that my head stays warm. All right, so, anyway. So these guys, are work you saw the little clip where there's a skip on site. Well, that got picked up and moved. Okay, so, uh, oh do <laughs> the only way when it goes dark, honest. <sighs> That's warm in here with that. See, no air, no air on Ed. So, the skip that 
that yellow skit where all the stuff on and that got taken away and the guys who were doing the work know where to put the rubbish the off cuts the bits and pieces they don't need me being a helpful chap i thought well if i put one of our tipper skips near where they're working and say hey, lads you know i'll help you out they'll put all the off cuts and bits in that skip and i have to say it worked a dream but do you know why everybody everybody who does dumpster diving skip diving and they all go for the dream well you don't just always get the goodies like this sack you get stuff in there that uh, you don't want you know half eaten dinners and I'm not so bad because I've been looking at this stuff every night but if you're going in a skip or a dumpster you know there might be half eaten food the thrown away food spoiled food that's started to go off and that's to say that if you don't know, you scrappers, you non-scrappers, that's why they go, you for the dream, for the dream. So this particular bag was on the top of the skip and I thought, well, we might as well take that home and uh, go through it. Although I did separate, uh, separate a lot of stuff out of it first. So I'm thinking that we cunning black cunning plan worked because straight away i was like oh that, that's uh that looks like pretty decent cable and it's all copper and we know that focus we know that's stainless steel yeah do bits of brass in it the more wire it all appears to be the fittings although did lose some on the way because there's a there's a hole in the bottom of my bag. Makes it easy. Makes, makes it easier to stick your hand in if there's a hole in it. Right, brass. That's uh, more of that small stuff. Oh, that's a that's a I'll tell you what. Hey, <laughs> oh, that's a nice length you've got there, Ian, isn't it? And, uh, does it focus very well? I can say that's uh, a solid earthing cable. And there's more of that in that pile. Right. Uh, this thing's like. They've already had a go at bits and pieces. There's more cable. Well. Nice piece of brass there. Shall, me, shall I stick my hand? Will you take my hand to that little hole? I'll oh, just fish around. Should have been a gynecologist. Well, you can't complain about that. So, I'll step back and I'll say, so I've got to go through that. Oh, and I also got another big bag of aluminium. Because if you remember, I squashed all the others up into squares. So now I've got another bag to squash up into squares. Uh, got some more bits and pieces, some cans from work. Oh, another one. I have to pick that up on my travels. Some cable. Ay, 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 ay. So that's why I said, you know, it's like Christmas has come early again for me. Right. Just uh, <coughs> after that coughing fit. Not on camera. <sighs> I said I've had a cunning plan. For that, we have to go and look over there. No. Nope. We're not getting any tidier whatsoever. Not in the slightest. Right. In either that box or
maybe that. In one of those little boxes is that pyro tool. Pyro, like he's, uh, <sighs> it's electrical cable, very fire retardant. You've got a copper outer, co copper outer coating, a bit like the coax. A ceramic infill and a copper wire through the middle. And it's a pain to use. And you've got to gladden it to fit it to anything. But there is a special tools that they use. And I have one of those tools in there somewhere. That you, you connect it to the end. You wind it round. And it, it peels the copper coating off. Now that, that's in there. So I'm going to have to... I don't know. I'm going to have to dive in there. Right. Yeah, we've got some more plugs. we got some more plugs as well. These are big plugs. These are 32 amp plugs. And they're brand new. I don't really want to strip those down. So the, the other ones I did the other day were 16 amp. Oh, there we go. And that's a 16 amp one. And you've got the size of that. As they say, sometimes bigger is better. However, that's not what we're here for. Because I said I've got an idea. And that's it. Because. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ian, don't laugh. Just don't laugh. Now, you've got to laugh because if you, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Talk about Marty from Scrap, Scrap Kingdom. Right. That's it. You only hoard scrap, basically, that you don't have time to get round to strip. Well, Ian just holds, holds everything that might come in useful time, useful sometime. You know, make, you know, like our shoes. You know, uh, <laughs> I gotta show you that. There you go. You know, just in case I ever decide to make something out of cutlery, <laughs> I got a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, I have to laugh, honest. Uh, Brutus Metal Arts will be looking at that and going, Oh, well, as would Burby the welder, of course. Say, oh, do you know what I see there? Well, <laughs> I don't see it yet. Okay. Oh, let's, what I want's down there. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm being captured. I'm being, look, what's this here? Oh. It's an eye. It's it's the uh, it's the lens off the front, out of a front. I'm gonna. I have no idea what sort of car uh, headlight, and it focuses the beam. Okay, we're getting we're getting, get sidetracked. We're getting sidetracked. Down there, down there is an ammo box, that broom box, and that has got some milling machine slitting discs in it big uns and little uns oh in fact there's a big one there's a big one there well <laughs> hey uh, there you go there's a big one <laughs> i don't think yeah <laughs> my milling machine would even have the the guts to turn that round. Well, there's one. I don't know why I bought. I think I bought that. I got I've got that. Well, you'll see. In that, you'll see in the future, half a factory in my shed videos. There's, there's loads of things like that. So anyway, I've got this idea, and this idea is. In that tub, which has to come out. Because it's gonna fall, it's gonna feature in the uh, half a factory in my shed videos, half hymns. And that'll be the first one I've decided is gonna be metrology. Well, that's a nice word, isn't it? Metrology. And the second one's gonna be tooling. Uh, see, there's a lot of tooling as well, er tooling. Uh, actually, I've got nothing in there. No, there isn't. Right, there's all the. No, no shortcuts. I've got to move all that lot and get 
a smaller version of one of these out. I mean, when I say smaller, I mean, like a little, they're like a little saw blade, like a wood saw blade. They're only, they're only that big. Right. And, so we'll go that way now. And, 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 <clears throat> we know the other day we had a 12, 24 volt battery charger. We've just seen it down there actually, if you look. Look, we can get working. I tested the 12 volt. If the 24 volt works, I also picked up this 24 volt motor. I don't know the speed of it. Okay. But now we're talking, now we're talking, now we're talking about fitting one of those s slitting discs. I, I don't know if that's the correct word. A milling machine, a milling machine saw blade. Yeah. And if that's not good enough, we've got other motors we can, we can look at. And we're going to try. So just Make something that'll go on the bench. A little saw blade, just just stick it up, just a little bit. So I don't, so I don't and then run that across, which will split it in half. Go first that way. Yeah, well, when I say stick it up a little bit, you know, once once we knew it worked in a wood shop uh, on, a, on a circular saw, uh, Said to the guy, how much do you want me to wind the blade up? He said, how much do you want to cut off your finger? And I thought, oh, you know, oh, what? words of wisdom. Well, that was like words of wisdom from the guy. You know what I mean? No, that's not, it's not a gang. That's not a gang sign, is it? I don't know. I don't want to be accused of using gang signs. That's supposed, supposed to be like, like stumpy nubs that he's cut some of his fingers off. So like, if you've only got a tidgy bit of the saw blade sticking up, you can only cut a tidgy bit of your finger off. You've got your saw blade stuck, in all, stuck up all the way up, you can cut all your finger off in one go. Rather than just having like a nasty cut. You can buy those fingerless gloves. And not feel cheated. Right. He's in his shed. This video will go on and on and on and on and on. I've got to build this little saw. Higher flex. Wire stripper. Let's see you in the next video. He's in his shed. <laughs> Not a tidy bench, and uh, oh, oh, right, okay, you're all going to be watching this. I hope you've made it to the end. I hope you've made it to the end. Tomorrow night, that's Friday, be on a live stream. Not sure who's hosting yet, possibly myself, maybe uh, All Handmade, maybe you, Lions Art, or maybe uh, Bag at Corner. Where we're going to we're going to thrash out the, the guidelines, the base, the rules for this make a table challenge. So, 8pm tomorrow, Friday night. Just feel free to pop in. This really is the four of us chatting between us, saying like, you know, Ian, you can't, I know you've only got a small bench, you can't make a doll's house table. It's got to be a table and... Initially, it's like you've got to put, be able to put a glass on it. Now that might develop. It might develop into you've got to be able to put a bottle and a glass on it. You know, we'll see. That we're going to thrash that out tomorrow night. So if you're a boat, pop in. You know, I'll put a few links up here and there tomorrow's. You know, advertise it a bit. I know there's quite a few people in the community already saying. I'm in. Good. You know, it, the last Make a Fish challenge were fun. And there was some real talent out there. So, uh, 
I might collect all my cutlery together and make a cutlery table. Eh? See you all soon. Take care.